We're here at Del Dios Motor Club. Cal, my good friend, came out today. He's a member of the club. Hey, He's Jack. brought out his uh, Shelby Series 1 1999, one of 249 produced, and this one's even more special. Um, very cool car. Um, you know, we're over at the clubhouse here. The garage is on the other side of the property, but we wanted to uh, film this car over here. And Cal, why don't you tell us a little bit, how long have you had the car? Uh, I bought this about three years ago before the pandemic. The second series one that I bought, I had, a, I had a silver one and I sold it in 2017. I wished I hadn't, it wasn't supercharged though. But uh, you know, the majority of these were all done in silver and some had different colored stripes. So the stripes were an option. Um, there were only 249 total made of two, the initial run, correct? That's correct, yeah. But, and about uh, 30 or so that I've read online that were supercharged at the yeah. at the factory and, and this is even rarer because they only made how many black cars uh six so this is one of six black and it's the only one that i can find that was supercharged so it's the only black supercharged wow that's incredible and, and we're guessing that even with the ratings you read online and stuff that this is closer to 550 horse and yeah they so were sort of underrated uh by carol shelby's company well they were because of the you know the safety standards uh in fact, they, uh, Carol Shelby planned to do 500 total, um, another 500 in 2000, but they couldn't get the they couldn't get the licensing because it doesn't have air. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so one of the things I want to show everybody, if we can pop the hood, because the engine's pretty yeah. impressive here, especially the supercharged. But if you take a look at this, this is the uh, it's an Aurora. Yeah, it's a four liter Aurora Olds Aurora. It's uh, they were used in the Indy. Uh, Indy uh, League in 2000. So it's an Indy engine. And then on top of that, this one's supercharged again, probably one of 30, one of one in black that's supercharged. Right. So you've had two of them. Yeah. You had a you had a one that wasn't supercharged. So you've had uh -huh. two of the two, uh, 249. Right. Um, obviously, you like the car. What would draw you back to, to getting another one? Well, you know, I really, I really wished I hadn't sold the first one, but uh, I came across this. I was at a Barra Jackson auction. This car wasn't going through the auction. It was on display with DuPont Registry. Uh -huh. And uh, I noticed that it was for sale from uh, Celebrity Cars in Las Vegas. In fact, it was the owner of Celebrity Cars that had it. Oh, wow. And the car looked so good in black that uh, I decided to go ahead and pick this one up as well. Yeah, I've never seen even online another uh, black ones. You usually see the silver ones and they have... Varying stripes, if you've ever seen one, they can have maroon, uh, yeah. uh, orange, um, and, and other colors. I well, think the, stri also. the stripes were an option, so you could pick, you could have no stripe or you could pick yeah. a color. So here in, San, here in San Diego, when you've had this out, and I, mm -hmm. you know, I see you at car shows and stuff, have you had uh, anyone else with a uh, supercharged version? I mean, how often, are there other ones here in San Diego? Um, I've seen one other Series 1, I don't know if it's supercharged or not, I kind yeah. of doubt that it is. Yeah. It's a silver one. I think it has a red stripe on it. This one, though, uh, also has a leather upgrade on the interior. Okay. The interior on the on the uh, majority of them, it was a, a two tone. It was a black and gray, and it's actually vinyl. And uh, of course, a lot of a lot of them you see it's advertised as leather. But, uh, the majority is not. So that was a leather option, which is nice because the the dash being leather also doesn't shrink like the vinyl does okay wow that's, that's so pretty rare to have the leather on the seats then also right. basically right you've had two of them and obviously this is really the last car that carol shelby you know really the only car that he designed from the ground up correct well he did do a, a prototype uh of another one but there was only one and um ford was going to was going to produce it but they backed out of it. Okay. And so that particular car uh, went for auction and sold over for over $2 million. Wow. So it was similar. It, it was a similar look, but it, uh, it was only the second one that he actually did from the ground up. Wow. So then they didn't continue the program. So then right. he went with the Aurora and, uh, and designed it. Yeah, that was after this. So okay. Was oh, after. His, okay. Yeah, that was his next project. Yeah, I, I've always found these cars to be just, I remember when they came out and obviously I knew who Carroll Shelby was and thought, wow, right. this is a, just a great car in 99. I, uh, you know, would have loved to have one. And I, I remember looking at them online and uh, 
just incredible cars. But uh, well, this is pretty much a race car. I mean, it it uh, and it's all carbon fiber, so it it only weighs twenty eight hundred and fifty pounds. Really? Yeah, and that's really what what makes it so quick. With five hundred and fifty horse, I imagine it it goes pretty good, even by modern car standards. Being that this is twenty three years old now, right? Right. That's really cool. Yeah. So. You've had I, you've had other cars and stuff, but this still drives like a modern. Uh, I mean, it really was. I think the, the zero to sixty was three point three point two seconds. Three point two seconds back in ninety nine, and that's still mm -hmm. a pretty good zero to sixty time. Yeah, it's got a ZF transmission. It's a sixty. So you're really the second owner, and the first owner was who? He was uh, Martin Crowley, who uh, was the co-founder of uh, Patron Tequila. Oh wow! And he his friend was. Uh, uh, John Pejoria, yeah. you know, Paul Mitchell, yeah. and and uh, Martin Crowley brought a bottle of tequila from Mexico and they shared it. Okay. And they thought it might be a good idea to uh, start a new tequila. So they started you know, Patron. And uh, Crowley, he died in uh, 2007, and uh, Pejoria took, took it and sold Patron to Bacardi for five point one. Wow, so not only did, not only did you buy it from celebrity cars in Las Vegas, but the first owner was basically a business celebrity then. Right. Yeah. I, I really like the gas tank over here. This is sort of a throwback because the you know, we both have a couple friends that have uh, original uh, Shelby Cobras from the sixties. And this is sort of the quick fill cap that they had back right. then, right? Yeah. One yeah, of you find those on all the Cobras. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, the competition Cobras. So mm -hmm. I've always liked the back end of the car. I just think, you know, you've got the, the exhaust is stock, correct? Uh, when, when we get them supercharged, they upgrade the, the clutch and the exhaust. Right. So it's, yeah. it's uh, different. These are uh, Magnaflow, so, and I think Bull is on the other So if you're lucky enough to see one of the 249 that were made, and you want to know how rare it is, if it has an exhaust like this, it's one of the 30 supercharged versions. So again, not likely to see this car out at your local car show or, or that many places. So Cal, I got to ask you here. We'll we'll wrap up, uh, you know, and we'll but, go. Uh, you know, you you have a number of cars. You've been a car guy for a long time. Uh, you know, you and I have been friends through car shows, and 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 you've been out here often to the the club. But uh, is this one of your favorite cars that you've owned? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the the rarity. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have some other nice cars, but. Uh, this one's this is my favorite. Over the years, uh, what's another? What will be your second favorite car that you either have or you had? Uh, well, I've got a 1937 um, uh, Hudson, and it's a utility coupe. And uh, it was the first year that Hudson made a pull-out pickup bed that pulls out of the trunk. And that car was professionally done. And uh, since it's uh, 37, it's 86 years old. It's pretty rare as well. Yeah, no, I would say I'd like to have that out to the club sometime and tell the story. It's funny because you bring that car out to the car shows quite a bit. I oh, do, yeah, because yeah. I like it. Yeah, people love it, especially with the, the pull-out bed and it's something right. you don't see every day. Right. If one car that you've never owned that you'd love to own. Uh, gosh, you know, you get to a point in, in, in your life where you can afford just about anything, but um, I don't know of anything else I'd rather have than the ones I have now. That's awesome. We're happy that Cal came out and brought his Shelby Series 1 supercharged out to Del Dios Motor Club today. I hope you've enjoyed some of the facts on it, and uh, we look forward to bringing you more cars, and maybe we can talk Cal into bringing the uh, rear Hudson out here sometime.